Hey everyone, if you're working on a project right now, you might have seen this red message in a corner at some point. You also might have searched for a solution and were told to increase the texture swimming pool size. How do you deal with this and why? Today, I will help you understand more about texture streaming, how to fix the streaming pool issues, and optimize your project to avoid this problem in the first place. So what is texture streaming? According to the documentation, the texture streaming system is the part of the engine responsible for increasing and decreasing the resolution of each texture. This is in part done with MIPS or MIP maps, but are pre-calculated sequences of images for your texture resolutions. You can think of these like LODs for your textures. If you're unfamiliar with LODs, they are basically copies of 3D objects with different complexity and detail. LOD0 is the most detailed version of your mesh with the biggest amount of triangles. LOD1 is a bit less detailed, LOD2 even less, etc. MIP maps are the same thing with textures, but go from high res to low res. They are created automatically when you import a texture. The engine then displays the estimated best MIP map depending on what the camera is seeing and its distance to the objects. This is why you may see the message that the texture swimming pool is over budget because the engine is asking for more VRAM to display the correct texture resolutions. So how do you increase the size of your texture swimming pool? You can type a console command that I will put in the description so you can copy it. By default, the pool size is 1 GB. You can increase it by entering a size in megabytes, like 2000. Ok, you got rid of the message for now, but if you close and reopen your project, you will have to do the comment again. Also, if you push the size too far, you will get VRAM issues because your GPU is overloaded. Now let's get a deeper understanding and learn to optimize your textures a little bit. You can show some interesting stats with the command stat streaming. This will display a detailed view of the different parts of the texture streaming system. As you move in your level, the values will update and you can get a good look at exactly how big the streaming pool should be for your scene. You can also get very interesting data on your textures using the texture stats. Take a good look at the data, we will come back to it after we optimize our textures. If you use Megascan's assets, there's a good chance a lot of them are in 8K or 4K, which is probably not necessary. I will now show you a good way to easily manage all your textures at once, so you can adapt them to your needs. In the content browser of your project, filter by texture, then Ctrl A to select all of them, then right click, asset actions, bulk edit via property matrix. This is where you can easily edit all your textures. In the panel on the right, go to compression. The parameter we are looking for is maximum texture size. You can type any size in pixel you want to limit your textures to. For best practice and performance, always use power of two sizes like 512, 1024, 2048 and so on. Another tip here is to limit the sizes depending on what the texture is used for. Usually, all your objects will come with three textures, diffuse, roughness and normal. If you are all at 8K after importing, you can reduce the diffuse to 2K, the roughness to 512 and the normal to 1024. This is just an example, but in this way you keep good details for the colors and shape of the object, but you can fine tune this to each object for even better results. We can go back to the texture stats and start streaming data to see how much our scene has changed and adapt the streaming pool size to what it needs after optimizing. Now, if you want to avoid having to enter the console command every time you open your project, we need to edit a file in your project folder. Go to the folder where your project is located, then go to config. The file we need to edit is default engine. Before making any changes, make sure you make a backup just in case. In the engine renderer settings part, copy and paste the same console command we used in the editor. You will find it in the description. Save the file and you're good to go. I hope you have a better understanding of the very common streaming pool size issue. You can look at your scene data and adapt your textures and pool size to get better performance when working. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and if the video was useful, please give it a like to help more people with this issue. And don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss the next guide. See you soon!